Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract fractions with common denominators. And at the top of your screen in blue, we have the steps that we're going to take in order to do this. So we're first going to check our denominators, and I'll explain why here in a second. Then we're going to subtract our numerators, we're going to keep our denominator the same, and then we'll simplify if needed. And we have three examples that we'll go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here where we have three-fourths minus two-fourths. So the first thing we need to do is check our denominators. And we have a four and a four. So we have a common denominator. Now we, it's always good habit to check your denominators first because when it comes to adding and subtracting fractions, if you don't have a common denominator, it takes some extra steps. So in this case, we do have a common denominator, so we can go to the next step of subtract the numerators. So we can do three minus two is one, and then we keep our denominator four, four, and we keep it the same, so four. So our answer is 1 fourth. And always check to see if you can simplify, but in this case, 1 fourth is in simplest form. The only common factor between 1 and 4 is 1, so this is our answer. So this rectangle here above our problem is going to model and help us visualize what happened in that problem. So as you can see, we have a rectangle filled with rectangles, and this rectangle is cut into fourths. One, two, three, four. See how it's cut into four pieces, or fourths? So we have three fourths filled in. One, two, three, right? And this represents the three fourths in our problem. Now we are subtracting or taking away two fourths. So let's cross off two of these fourths. One, two. So how many fourths are left filled in? Well this one fourth at the bottom here. And that matches our answer here that we got when we went through our steps. So our model showed us what it looks like when we start with three fourths and take two fourths away and we end up with a difference or answer of one fourth. So let's go to number two. So check the denominators first. Do we have a common or like denominator? Yes, we have two eights there. So now we can subtract the numerators. So six minus one is five. We keep our denominator of eight the same, and then we simplify if needed. So five eighths is in simplest form. The only common factor between five and eight is one. So we are done. Now if you need help with simplifying, I will drop a link to my simplifying fractions video down in the description so I can take you through that process if you do need help with that. Now number three, we have seven tenths minus three tenths, so check our denominators. We have two tens there, so we're good to go. Subtract our numerators. Seven minus three is four. Keep our denominator of 10 the same and simplify if needed. So when we simplify, we look for any common factors between the numerator and denominator. And here we have one. We can divide four and 10 by two to break this down into lowest terms or simplest form. So four divided by two is two, and 10 divided by two is five. So we get two fifths. Now we did not change the value of our answer four tenths, it's still equivalent. Two fifths is equivalent to four tenths. Again, we just simplified and broke that fraction down. And again, if you need help with that simplifying process, I dropped that link down in the description. So I hope that helped with subtracting fractions with common denominators. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.